on this part, we are going to talk about setting up the Auth0 application with the Angular application. And for that, the first step is going to be to update the settings of the Auth0 app. So I'll just right click here on the tab. I'll duplicate this tab. And then I'll go to settings. So in the settings page, if you scroll down on the basic information, you have the domain and the client ID values that we need. If you scroll down further, you'll see the application properties where you have the application logo. So whenever you click the login button and you're going to get the login pop-up, if you want to change the default application logo to your app, then you can just replace the path in here and your application logo is going to show up on the login pop-up. We are not going to change the application type because we are going to use it in an Angular app, which is an SPA app. Let us scroll down in here in the application URLs. You are going to define the application in which the app is run. So basically, we are going to set the allowed callback URLs, which means that after the user is logged in, then we want to redirect the users to which page, which is going to be our home page. And after the user is logged out, we need to also define the URL where we want them to be redirected. My app is running in localhost and this port. So I'll just go to the application details. I'll just paste the value in here. I'll remove the extra slash, then paste the logout here as well. And let us also paste in the allowed web origins. Now, if your app is running in a different URL, or if you have already deployed your app to let's say example.com, then you just define in here example.com and that way you should be able to set up the auth zero. Let us scroll down to the bottom. And here, I'll just click the save changes button. And this is all I need to do in this section. So in the settings section. Now here, let us go back to the other tab. And if you want, you can close this one. Let's go in here. Let us scroll down. So next we need to install so npm install auth0 and then auth0 angular. It's going to copy this command. Just go to the angular app. In here I'm just going to right click and then open in integrated terminal. Then here I'm just going to type npm install. We are going to install auth0 and then auth0 dash angular going to press enter. So now that the npm package was installed, let us go to the app.module.ts or let us just go to source and then app. Scroll down in here, go to app.module.ts. It's going to close the terminal. It's going to close the explorer as well. And then I'll just scroll down inside the ng module and then import array where we have defined the other modules as well like for example the forms module the reactive forms module for the reactive forms and also the http client module which we needed for the http client in here we are going to add another module and this is going to be the module for the auth0 for that i'll just type auth module and then dot for root and then inside the for root method, we're going to initialize the authentication module system. For that, the first thing that we need to define is the domain. Then we're going to define the client ID. Then we're going to define the authorization parameters, so authorization params. And let us type in here that the redirect URI is going to be the same location from where the user wanted to log in. For that, I'll just type window.location and then origin. In here, let us see we have an error. That's probably because we have a missing comma. And you can see that the error now is gone.
Now the domain value and the client ID are the values in the settings. So if I go back to alt zero and then I just go to settings, these are the values that you need. So this is the domain and also the client ID. Now, this is all we're going to do on this part. On the next part, you'll learn how to add the login button, which is going to trigger a login pop-up.